Hey, if you love the idea of some of your own homegrown fruit, you got to take care of your trees. You know, there's something nice about having a few of your own fruit trees. I love these nectarines, but you have to make sure that you're managing them correctly. We had a pretty good crop on them this year. It's after the season and the tree's really grown, but I wanna go in and do some pruning. A little maintenance is important. So what I'm going through and doing is I'm taking out a lot of these really small limbs like this. If it's damaged, and this one certainly is damaged, you wanna prune it off. If it's diseased, you wanna take it off. If it's dead, you wanna take it off. You see, this will give your tree a long life ahead. See, by coming in and taking out some of these little tiny stems like this and cleaning up around the trunk, what I'm going to do is make sure that the energy goes into the limbs that I want through the remainder of the growing season. You see, this tree is building up starch. It'll begin to set its buds for next year. I wanna make sure that I have the fruit on the limbs that matter the most. So I'm taking out a lot of these little low limbs here around the base of the tree. And I'm thinning out some of the interior branches. The idea with most fruit trees is you wanna make sure you get plenty of sun on the inside of the tree to ripen the fruit. You also wanna keep in mind hygiene. You see, if these trees have any fungal problems, they drop fruit, they drop leaves around the tree, you wanna get all of that cleaned up as much as possible. You wanna spray under the tree, basically the diameter of the tree up until it's drip line, which is the outer edge of the limbs. Now, another thing you wanna keep in mind, these trees can become so laden with fruit, you just can't believe it. So I put a four inch post or stake in the ground next to the tree and then tied it with some of this plastic tubing. You see, you don't wanna use wire because it'll cut into the trunk of the tree. If it does that, it'll weaken the tree. It'll also open it up to disease and insects, which is not good. You see, if I take care of this tree, it will produce loads and loads of fruit for years to come. If you're enjoying some of these tips on how to grow your own food, make sure you subscribe to eHow Home. And if you grow fruit trees, let me know about it. I'd love to hear from you.